Oh, of course, the Bergheim was amazing. Um, I got into the Bergheim and I saw DJ Harvey play, which was fucking sick on the Sunday. Um, they had this night called Club Nacht or Club Notched. I don't even pronounce it, um, the actual word, but they had this party going on from Friday until the Monday morning, which was fucking awesome. I ended up seeing Harvey on the Sunday afternoon. Um, no, Sunday evening, sorry. He played from eight in the evening until 11 so i got there about nine and saw him play for the last few hours it was fucking insane uh queuing up in Burkhan, of course you know the stories you know just just don't be a prat in a queue basically all that stuff about not making noise not talking is a bit overstated just don't be a dickhead in the crowd in the queue so i got i i was i i was luckily enough to get in even though there was quite a lot of people in front of me who were getting turned away which was quite upsetting but i fortunately fingers crossed i was able to get in i got into Burkhan, uh, paid my 15 euros and had an amazing time, man. Like, it was so good. It was so cool to be in the Bergheim sober. Like, I got... Because I, I, I decided I was going to just have a drink when I got in there. Um, so when I got in, I started having drinks or whatever. But it was so nice to kind of actually feel and be present in that environment. And kind of just... Just just kind of, you know, you know I mean, just kind of center myself in that environment of music and techno and um, sexual liberation and people just being free and doing what they want. It was so, so, um, so liberating in general. And again, just that presence of mind, just to kind of be present in the moment too. I wasn't chasing anything. I was just enjoying my time there. And obviously having a person like DJ Harvey play, it kind of really added to the whole ambiance of the whole evening. It was just an amazing experience, man. That space, the Burkheim, is just something else really. Um, it, and it kind of needs to be stated that the whole like not taking pictures in there really creates a different environment. I know I've been in it, I've been there a few times now, but you really get you really get it. Like no one's on their phone, even on their toilets. Like no one's kind of like checking their phone. Everyone's just like really present in a nightclub, like just hanging around, chatting, um, sharing a cigarette. Um, I don't know, sharing other substances, <laughs> whatever they may be. You know, exchanging fluids. Um, everyone's just really present. No one's like faffing around. Everyone's just having a good time. And oh my God, talk about having a good time. People are dancing. Everyone is dancing, man. Dancing, dancing, dancing. It's amazing to see. Absolutely amazing to see. And yeah, I can't wait to go back again, man. Bergheim was fucking incredible. What an amazing space. And what a privilege. Again, it's absolute privilege to be able to go away to these kind of places and, and actually, f um, you know, and experience them and live them for real. Not kind of have to read about in a Guardian article or watch a YouTube video. Actually go there and experience something itself. I'm really, really big on that. I think people don't do that enough these days. You know, they, they're quick to kind of make an assumption about something or say something something that they don't like whatever it may be but not necessarily going and visiting the place or kind of hanging out there just like you know whatever everyone's got kind of like um what's the thing called a um couch quarterback sort of opinion of things but yeah the burger was fucking amazing I ended up leaving there monday morning at like nine when it ended and when the sun come up everyone was there having a good time it was fucking incredible i can't wait to go back again Burkine, I love you. <laughs>